Hey, good morning. It's Whitney Nosley, and I'm here with Kim Clevenger from the Assurance Center, and she's going to help us with some insurance questions today and just information that maybe new investors or new people into real estate need to know to protect themselves with insurance. And uh, she was telling me she was talking to a man this morning, and he was asking about replacement costs. Well, what he was saying is that if his building burns down, he doesn't want to build a new building. He doesn't want to go through that hassle. He wants to just go to another, find another facility. And I was telling him, well, you may be paying for replacement cost on your building, but you don't actually get the replacement cost from an insurance company unless you actually replace it. And that's a condition is that you have to replace it. Plus, there's all kinds of city and county ordinances that you can't just abandon a building. <laughs> you can't just leave a burned out shell there and walk Your away. Mortgage company doesn't like that either. No, they don't like that. Mm -hmm. But even if you've got it paid off, replacement cost means that you have to replace it to get the replacement cost. So you're going to get depreciated value. The actual ca the replacement cost less depreciation, which is the actual cash value, until you replace it. And then when you replace it, you will get that additional money. And on the replacement. Say I go to a home improvement store or I go to a roof contractor, does the insurance company pay them? The insurance company is going to pay you, and they're going to pay you. If the claim is over about $5,000, they're going to give you a check, and the check's going to say, to Whitney Nicely and Whitney Nicely's bank, SunTrust Bank or whatever. And then you're going to have to go to your bank, and you're going to have to prove to your bank that you're actually doing the repairs because they have an interest in you repairing your house and not letting it fall apart and having a party. Yeah. So. Another thing with the actual cash value that you need to be careful of is after the 2011 storms, the hail storms that came through East Tennessee, and we replaced so many roofs in East Tennessee, a lot of insurance companies came in, filed with the state, got permission from the state to put an actual cash value endorsement onto your, onto your homeowner's policy. What that means is you're only going to get the actual cash value of your roof. So if you have a $10,000 roof, which is not a very big roof, no. and it's 10 years old, and you're 10 years into a 25-year roof, if you go to replace it, if you have replacement costs, you're going to get $10,000 less your deductible to replace your roof. If you have actual cash value, you're going to get the $10,000 less the depreciation and less your deductible, so you're going to get like $4,000. And a lot of people don't have that money in the bank to just lay it out there, and they're expecting their house to get put back the way it was when it was damaged, and it's not going to be if you have that endorsement. So if you have it, if you don't know if you have it, call your insurance agent or call us at the Assurance Center. It's 865-675-6500, and we'll walk you through it. Sounds great. Thanks, Kim. You're welcome.